Hi everyone, Carlos's Diner here, and here I am with a brand new Lego mock. This is based on the Mustafar facility from the climax of Revenge of the Sith, the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Now I had noticed that I haven't done a whole lot of Lego Star Wars mocks in a while, and I decided to do one based on a lightsaber duel. I wanted to pack as much of Mustafar into this mock as I could. Whether that be the exterior of the, must of the facility, or the interior of the facility inside the Separatist War Room. It's been a while, but I am happy that I've gotten back to LEGO Star Wars mock after not making a LEGO Star Wars mock in such a long time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here are the minifigures I have chosen for this LEGO mock. There's a total of six. Three bad guys and three good guys to even out the morality number. Considering that you have just saw the size of the set, you might be thinking it might be too much of a minifigure count for its size, but I think it's pretty good considering the characters who appeared in the scene as well as well the scene itself and, and how big it is. Might seem a bit too large, in my opinion, and if LEGO released this, the, the Mustafar facility mock that I've made as a set, I don't think they'll release these kinds of these minifigures in it. Maybe some of them, but not all of them. But I, I think this minifigure count is pretty good for what it is. Okay, the minifigures included are Anakin and Obi-Wan. Anakin is a completely custom minifigure. He does use parts from various Anakin, well, actually one Eric Anakin variant. It's the uh, variant from 2014, and you can tell because he has like the dark brown hair and very dark brown printing on his torso and black arms. The reason why he's not complete and uses other pieces to complete him out, such as the plain dark brown pants and uh, the light, the Buzz Lightyear head from the the Lightyear theme. Is because uh, I, I I I could not find like the pant pants legs piece that came with the original 2014 Anakin that I had gotten years ago, and the head had like this golden headset, so I didn't want that. So the closest I could get to to like in recreating an Anakin esque face in my collection was Buzz Lightyear's head from the Lightyear theme. He may not have a scar, and he may not be frowning or scowling like he should be in this scene. But I think he looks pretty okay. I mean, it's Anakin Skywalker. He should at least be smiling on some occasions. Nothing has really changed about Obi-Wan. He's just the same Obi-Wan minifigure that you'd, fi that you'd find in actually two LEGO Star Wars sets. He, he actually, ironically enough, came from a Mustafar Duel set a few years back, this version. Nothing really changed. Nothing's really changed. But he also came in General Grievous' Starfighter a few years back, which is how I got this very version of Obi-Wan. Nothing too special to talk about these two Jedi. Well, why am I saying Jedi for them both? Obi-Wan's a Jedi. Anakin's a Sith Lord. Darth Vader now. They're just okay to put in. I mean, you can't have a Mustafar duel without these two key characters with their two blue blades, even though one of them's a Sith Lord. But on to the other other minifigures. 3PO and R2, also nothing too special with them. The R2 variant is the version that from 2014 set that I got Anakin from. It's probably one of the most detailed R2s we've gotten, alongside the more recent R2s, especially the one released with the Death Star trash compactor with the back printing. Don't have that one. It's This is the 2014 version of R2. I got with Anakin back then. 3PO is the 2012 variant with with the updated printing on his torso, but his leg printing is all blank. You may be wondering why they're here in on Mustafar Duel. That is because Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game made a very weird decision in having them be the secondary players or secondary characters for player two to control. So, so yeah, in, in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, they pretty much follow Obi-Wan around Mustafar as he's fighting Anakin, so that's kind of funny. They're, that's the only reason that they're here, and that's pretty much it. But they were on Mustafar 
during the duel. Just They didn't just follow Obi-Wan in the film. Well, I guess that's it for R2 and 3PO. On to the last two minifigures. Newt Gunray's variant is based on his <clears throat> Clone Wars variant and also Episode 2. As And, and Sidious is just basically the, the Darth Sidious from the DK book, The Dark Side, that I got years back. Also in 2014. Why is there so many 2014 minifigures in this mock? <laughs> Gunray is here to, re to uh, give uh, some separatists for Vader to slice down, because that is the reason why he came to Mustafar, because Sidious sent him to Mustafar to kill off all the separatist leaders, because he has no use for them in his new empire. Sidious in is in this mock. Well, he wasn't part of the duel, but he is in this mock because he does come later to, uh, to rescue Anakin, or, or Vader, I, sh I should say. Uh, after his after the duel from being burned and put him in the new shiny iconic Darth Vader suit So that's why Sidious is here Overall, I don't think that it's a bad minifigure selection. It might be too large uh, I would personally remove 3PO and R2 from this but I but considering what I mentioned on why they're here Because Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga I thought it was a brilliant idea to have them as secondary characters but o overall, I think it's a pretty good minifigure selection. Okay, I think I spent too many, much time on the minifigures. On to the way why you clicked on this video in the first place. The Mustafar facility itself. A key detail that you're going to want to do when recreating the Mustafar facility is that you're going to need lava. Lots and lots of lava. <laughs> Whether that be red, orange, yellow, a a any sort of like lava-ish bright uh, piece uh, Lego pieces slash plates to recreate the lava river that Anakin and Obi-Wan spend the last stretch of the fight on. Basically, all of these plates are stacked on top of one another to basically give off the river impression. But of course, Anakin and Obi-Wan can't fight on lava. It's everywhere and they'll get burned down. So, that is why in the scene, they use uh, these floating platforms, or at least Obi-Wan does. Anakin uses a DLC-13 mining droid. Basically, both of these can spin on these little turntables to make sure that they're not static to give some action. Sadly, they cannot reach each other. And, and go knock knock each other down with the lightsabers. Sadly, they can't. But I, but I still think like the swiveling action really gives both the platform and the mining droid some life, rather than just stick standing on top of the uh, lava static like. A creative liberty that I took with this mock that was not in the film is that unlike in the film where the lava river. They do not um, have any, uh, like, a walkway to walk through over the river. Um, here, the, the brown plates here... Hang on. The brown plates here that lead from the Separatist War Room across the lava river here serve as this walkway for Anakin and Obi-Wan to move their fight from the lava river to move all the way to the iconic, memeable high ground. To make sure the high ground is not just some boring gray slab of rock, there's a lava waterfall to the side that gives it some detail. Sadly, no minifigure can actually fit underneath the waterfall, like if kids would probably want to f f uh, have them go underneath, like underneath the waterfall when dueling, sadly that's not going to happen. One can still recreate the scene, though. Whether it's this corner behind the water, uh, the, sorry, lava fall here, or more movie accurate on this floating platform here, the high ground can also double as a place for as the place where Sidious can serve his purpose in this mock, to come to Anakin's rescue. Though not because he cares for Anakin, but that he can use him for his own evil deeds, of course. 
A complaint that I do have for this mock that I wish I improved upon is that there's nothing really on the back behind these rocks. It's just a blank hollow area, sadly. Not very interesting. But then again, I think like from the front is the best way one would display it. Wouldn't you agree? There is a little walkway on top of the facility where Anakin and Obi-Wan can start their fight, like in the film. Of course, we can't forget the aforementioned Separatist war room where Anakin can take down the Separatist leaders. Or, at least in this mock, Newt Gunray, who's literally the only Separatist leader in this mock. <laughs> and that's pretty much it with the Lego Mustafar facility mock that I've created. Overall, I do not think that this is a bad Lego mock, honestly. I wanted to pack as much of the Mustafar facility from the film into this small, little, playscale Lego mock as much as possible. Whether that be the mining droid or the floating platform, the meme-worthy high ground, the Separatist war room, or just the lava river in general, Anakin, please stop smiling. You know you're supposed to be angry in this scene. I think I captured a majority of the Mustafar duel all in one little Lego mock. Well, maybe not little, but medium-sized. But I think it's pretty good, honestly. I haven't made a Lego Star Wars mock in a very long time, so I'm glad that I have finally made one after a while. Anyway... This has been the Mustafar Facility. What are your thoughts on this mock? Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in more videos. Bye for now, folks!